Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the LDAP external authentication on Cisco Web Security Appliance WSA. The first thing you need to go to network and authentication menu. Um, under the authentication rims, you will need to define a new rim. I already have my rim configured, so I'm going to show you the information that you will need to input in the LDAP rim. The first thing is the rim name. You can input anything that is meaningful to you, and the LDAP version I'm using the default which is version 3 and under the LDAP server um, input the my primary domain controller and the secondary domain controller LDAP port I'm using the default 389 port and the query credentials so I created an account on my Active Directory it's just a normal account with the password never is by and I used ADSI edit to find the full distinguished name of the user and I based it in here and I input the password for the user and the base DN, I just input the root, um, the root domain of my Active Directory. So, in, for example, if your domain is domain dot local, you can input in the base DN, DC equal domain comma DC equal local. And under the external authentication query. You can you can leave the base DN blank, and under the query string, I uh, use the same account name as the username, and the user full name I'm using the display name attribute, and under the root membership. The base DN you can leave it blank and the query string to determine if a user is a member of a group. I am using the query object class equal group member equal DN and the attribute that you have the members username is members and the attribute for the group name is CN and at this step you can click on test query to see if the queries is correct and successfully uh, shut for the information from Active Directory so under the user I can test for the user authentication by input my Active Directory user account and password and then click run test as you can see the query is successfully run and it can look up for my SAM account named mail test and the second thing you can test is the root membership you can input your login name this is the username from your active directory and run test as you can see, it successfully detect my account belong to two groups, and the query is successfully um, test. And then you can click on submit to submit the changes. And then you, the next step is go to system administration users. And under the external authentication section, you can click on edit global settings.
under the um, edit external authentication you can check on enable external authentication the authentication type is LDAP and the LDAP external authentication query is the one that we created earlier under the network authentication and under the root mapping section I am uh, go going to use the domain admin's roof and give it the administrator role on this web security appliance and then you click on submit to submit your changes and then remember to commit your change on the web security appliance then you can log out and test your um, and test by logging with your domain admins uh, member as you can see I am successfully logging with my domain admin uh, account and this user have the full administrator role on this uh, web security uh, security appliance thank you for watching